Okay, let's get started. First of all, thank you for having me as a speaker in this village. It's my great pleasure to give a talk here. Today, I'm going to give a talk about the basics of adversary infrastructure tracking and also how to automate tracking tasks with a tool which I'm developing. Before starting, let me introduce myself. I'm Ninoseki on GitHub and Twitter. So if you have a question after this event, please feel free to ask me a question via direct message. And uh, I'm working as a CSAT and trust and safety team engineer in a Japanese company. So I guess you already know that, uh, that English is not my native tongue and uh, I'm sure that my speaking is not good. So please be patient with me for a while. And I'm interested in ocean CTI and making things. Yeah, that's all. Mm. This is the agenda of today's my presentation. I will explain the basics of adversary infrastructure tracking and how to automate tracking with a tool, which is named Mihari. Basics of adversary infrastructure tracking. tracking. Adversary Adversaries are not always, but sometimes they are good friends with bad habits. They reuse source code components and they reuse infrastructures, for example, IP address, SSL certificate, SSH host key, and who is registered. Reusing something increases a possibility of tracking. Let's say it's a fingerprint in a crime scene. You can track a criminal based on a fingerprint in there. Excuse me. This is a very simplified threat hunting loop. You have to do all tasks in there to track an, advers track an adversary. But in this presentation, I will focus on adversary infrastructure tracking. It can bring new sheets address, new running page, and new samples. This is my my mind map for adversary infrastructure tracking. You can see you can use those fingerprints for tracking. For example, if a host has an SSL certificate. X509 fingerprint and uh, JAM and J3 hash value can be used as a fingerprint. And also, if a host has an HTTP or HTTPS service, I mean, if it is a website, you can use HTML, JavaScript, style sheet, cookie, header, tracker, Fabicon as a fingerprint. There are two ways to track fingerprints on the internet. The first one is active tracking. Do scanning by yourself by using Nmap, Masscan, Zmap, and so on. Another one is passive tracking using third party services like Shodan, Census, Binary Edge, Virus Total, or Passive Total. Of course, there are pros and cons. Active tracking can find active targets, but it consumes a large number of computing resources. In passive tracking, there is no need to have your own scanning infrastructure, but you should pay, for, pay a fee to use in general, and you may find inactive targets through passive tracking. But in general, passive tracking is more cost effective than having your own scanning infrastructure. So I will focus on passive tracking in this presentation. Let me show 
examples of fingerprints taking https example.com as an example it's a website so it has an html and those HTMLs, HTML hash values can be used as a, used as fingerprints. Also, it has SSL certificate, so it's serial number and the SHA two five six hash value can be used as fingerprint. Yep. For example, the uh, it's. HTML's MMH3 hash value can be used for Cholan search and uh, X509 serial number. It's also can, it can be also used for Cholan search. It's SHA1 hash value can be used for census and uh, SHA256 hash value of certificate it can be used for census search. Here is a small chip to take fingerprints of a website. I published a Python-based web app to calculate the basic fingerprints of a website. It is published on GitHub, so you can use it for free. Let me show a quick demo of this app. You should put URL in form and uh, just push calculate button. Then it calculated fingerprints of example.com, DNS record, with record, and uh, hashes of HTML. Unfortunately, it example.com does not have Fabicon, there is no hash of Fabicon. Yeah, it has certificate, so this is a hash, hashes of SSL certificate, and you can make a search. For example, let's make a search on Sholam. Hmm. Like that. Example.com, example domain. Also, you can make a search based on certificate. example.com and uh, yeah for example you can make a search on your scan.io based on html's sha256 hash value example.com example.com and uh, let me make another example google.com i believe it has a fabicon so yep it has fabicon.ico so is a uh, hashes of Fabicon and you can make a search based on Fabicon hash value. Yeah. This is a, uh, you know, Google icon. Yeah, that's all. <clears throat> I'd like to demonstrate how to automate tracking tasks with a tool which is named Mihari. Mihari is a framework for continuous OSINT based threat hunting. It is a tool to automate passive tracking tasks. It is written in Ruby and it is packaged as a Ruby gem. So it's very easy to install. Just execute this command, gem install Mihari and just a note, Mihari means lookout or guard in Japanese. Let me explain how it works. Mihari can get input from over 15 services by default. For example, Shodan, Census, Virus Total, Passive Total, and blah, blah, and so on. And also it can integrate custom sources. I will I will explain it later. And uh, it Mihari can output findings to a database, Slack, the Hive, MISP, and uh, make a webhook, general webhook. So 
you can get the notification if there is a new finding which is matched with a search query. Then you can take a look at it. Here is a very basic usage of Mihari. This command makes a search query in a service and stores matched artifacts in a database. Mihari has a built-in web app, so you can check findings via G web app. I will do a demo of it later. Mihari has a DSL to combine a set of queries as a loop. It is inspired by 3C7's infrastructure tracking scheme. This is a very powerful method to track an adversary, so let me explain it in detail. This is Mihari's rule schema. Let me simplify it. Required attributes are title, description, and queries. Yep, that's all. For example, please remember fingerprints of example.com. This is a rule to find hosts which serve an HTML, same as example.com. MMH3 hash value for showdown and SHA1 value for census and SHA256 for binary edge and your scan. So it means you can combine multiple such queries in a single rule like this. Let me explain two practical use cases. The first one is tracking dangerous password. Dangerous password, which is also known as crypto core, real turtle, or crypto mimic is an APT group that targets cryptocurrency exchanges around the world. <laughs> Sometimes it reuses the same infrastructure for a certain period. For example, this is an IP address used by dangerous password as a landing page. You can see it is used for a month. So you can know new domains for running pages by monitoring passive DNS. I'm using virus total hunting to find a new dropper that is used by dangerous password. And if there is a new connected domain at dropper, I will check or I will check a record of that domain and register it in a Mihari do like like this. And uh, then I can get a notification if there is a new related domain through passive DNS. The next one is Mokhao. Mokhao, which is also known as Xloader. It is an Android malware target South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, Germany, and so on. This is a Mihari rule to track Mokhao landing pages. Mokhao uses a self-signed certificate for running pages. So I use Shodan and Census to track, track the host which uses that certificate. And also Mokhao, uh, Mokhao hosts have a very unique web-based ping tracker and uh, it, the ping, that ping tracker can be found by an um, HTML hash or title of an um, HTML and the combination of open ports. Interestingly, Mokhao uses Pinterest to broadcast phishing messages. It embeds a message in a profile of a Pinterest account. So 
you can get a new phishing domain via Pinterest by monitoring those Pinterest accounts. Let's automate this task with Mihari. In Mihari, you can create a, create an analyzer to ingest a custom source by writing a Ruby script. This is a part of custom Mihari analyzer to track phishing domains in Pinterest accounts. So it means you can do more than querying with Mihari. Excuse me. Oh. Mihari is written in Ruby, so <clears throat> you have to create an analyzer with Ruby, but if you are not familiar with Ruby, you can make an input via REST API. Let me do a demo of Mihari web app. Yeah, it's a Mihari web app, and uh, you can see these artifacts are found by a rule I explained before, Mukhao rule, and uh, these IP addresses are matched with uh, Mukhao rule, rule for Mukhao, and yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's look up it on virus total. And it has many DNS records. The Mokao uses, how to say, dynamic DNS services, dynamic, DN, dynamic DNS service. So it has many domain in general. Okay. Let's let's validate whether it is really Mokao or not. Let's access this domain. Mokao has uh, the how do I say? It checks user agent. So let's access it via Android Android phones UA. Galaxy S5. Yep. It is written in Japanese, but it impersonates, uh, how to say, it impersonates a company in Japan and it drops APK. It's, I believe it's an um, Android malware. Yep. Like that. You can combine uh, such queries in a single rule and uh, track a target, track an adversary, like that. Yeah, I'm using Mihari to track Mokao for years, so there are many artifacts like this. Yeah. Also, I said that, I explained that Mihari can make um, Notification through notification to Slack. It's like that. It's same value I I demonstrated before, but yeah, you can get a notification like that, and you can make a, how do I say pivot on these buttons. For example, look up on virus total or look up on Show down. Or census. Yep. I said that Mokao uses self-signed certificate. This is that one. It's very unique one, so it's very easy to track Mokao, by the way. Yep. Okay. Conclusion, adversary infrastructure tracking brings new insights and findings. So it's very powerful techniques to track activities of an adversary, but you should combine it with static and dynamic analysis and yellow hunting to get, get the whole picture.
Mihari is a tool to make the tracking easy. Mihari provides a unified way to interact with various services, showdown senses virus total, and so on. And Mihari pings you when there are new findings. So it it will help your research. And you can get better coverage by combining a set of queries in a room. Yeah. That's all. Thank you for listening. Is there any question? I'm willing to answer it. Thank you for listening.